What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So for today's episode, um, it's basically just a thought. Is it possible to connect two tables into one single dropdown? And the answer is yes. So in today's tutorial, we will run through on how to sort of combine two separate tables, uh, columns from separate tables into one single dropdown. And this will be a very short and sweet tutorial, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So without further ado, let's check it out. Alright guys, so to start off the journey, as usual, uh, let me explain a bit on the structure that I have right now. So first of all, I have the general table. Uh, basically a table called general, where I have the product ID and the product name. So I have the coffee mug, travel pillow, and Bluetooth speaker. On the other hand, I have the electronics table where I have the category ID and category name uh, such as home goods, travel, and electronics. And of course, I have the orders table which we will want to pull the uh, items uh, as a drop down in product and category in column C. Okay, so moving on to the app itself, I have the tables uh, listed here already. And let's just say in product and category, I want to have the drop down to happen where we will join both items from separate tables into one. So normally what we you do is uh, when you want to create a drop down, you would definitely use the valid if. And of course, uh, you can insert the columns from another table and that's it. However, by doing this, you will only get the, uh, let me just save this for now. You will only get the items from one table. Okay, so let me just remove this again since we are not doing this, uh, just showing you here. But I want to do this in product and category column instead. Okay, so the expression that I use to combine both tables from electronics and general into one singular uh, drop down is by using a, an expression called unique and whereby it selects both general and electronics table and their respective columns such as product name from general and category name from electronics table then of course i have true so the true what it does is it takes all of the items in that respective column with no conditions and once you have this basically the result would be uh, all of the items are now available and listed in one single uh, drop down or selection and there you have it so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial today uh, do like if you find this video is useful for you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to see more contents like this. So I end my video with a thanks. And don't forget to drop a comment uh, and let me know what else you would like to see. Uh, and of course, I'll try my best to do as many as I can. And I appreciate all of you. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.